chapter 3, section 2, is all about solving inequalities using addition or subtraction. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to write an inequality to model a real-life situation and then solve linear inequalities. All right, so vocab for today are equivalent inequalities, which means inequalities that have the same solution. The addition property of inequalities just states that if I add the same thing to both sides, it's still going, the inequality is still going to be true. And the subtraction property of inequality says if I subtract the same thing from both sides, the inequality will still be true also. Okay, what are the solutions of x minus 15 is greater than negative 12? And then graph those solutions. All right, so just like we worked on yesterday, we're going to treat this as if it's a regular equation. Okay, we'll put our train tracks right down the inequality symbol, and we're trying to get x by itself. So the opposite of subtracting 15 is to add 15. Okay, that leaves me with just x on this side, still greater than, and negative 12 plus 15 is 3. When I graph it, I need the number 3 and at least a couple more. Because it has no equal to bar, I'm going to have an open circle at 3. And my x's have to be greater than 3, so everything I shade has to be greater than 3. So I'm going to shade to the right. What are the solutions of n plus 5 is less than negative 3? The opposite of adding 5 is subtracting 5. So I have n left over here, still less than a negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. When I make my number line, I need negative 8 with a couple more. Okay, open circle at negative 8. And everything has to be less than negative 8, so I'm going to shade to the left. All right, on your own, solve and graph these two solutions, and then come back and check your answers with mine. Okay, hopefully your answers, both your solved answers and your graphs match mine. How could you check your answers? I would highly suggest that you take one of the numbers that you colored in and plug it in and make sure that it works. So I know that 12 is shaded in here, so I'm going to put a 12. If I did 12 minus 3, that would give me 9, and yes, 9 is less than or equal to 10. So I know that that one's right. Okay, here we go with our word problems or our real life situations. This one says the hard drive on your computer has a capacity of 120 gigabytes. You have used 85 gigabytes. You want to save some videos to your hard drive. What are the possible sizes of the videos you can save? Write and solve an inequality. All right, so first thing we gotta figure out what these numbers are. This has a total capacity of 120 gigabytes. So 120 is my total, okay? That means it's on one side of my inequality. That circle is where we're gonna put our inequality once we know what we want. We have used 85, and we wanna know what we have left. Okay, so our the 85 that we've used, plus whatever is left, has to be either less than or equal to 120. Okay, and then this x, will tell me, oops, that's supposed to be an X, will tell me the space that I have left. 
Okay, so there's the right, the inequality part. Now we're gonna solve it. Okay, we put our train tracks. I'm trying to get x by itself, so I need a negative 85 or subtract 85 to move it to the other side. That leaves me with x is less than or equal to 35 gigabytes, meaning I have 35 gigabytes left to use. So the video that I record can be 35 or less. Okay, a club has a goal to sell at least 25 plants for a fundraiser. Club members sell eight plants on Wednesday, nine plants on Thursday. What are the possible number of plants the club can sell on Friday to meet their goal? All right, so 25 is their goal. That means our total needs to be 25. If they're trying to get to 25, that would be their goal. That means that we could, it could be equal. Do they want anything less? No. Would they be okay with more? Yes. Okay. Now, what they've already sold is eight and nine, and we have one more day that we don't know about. So here is our inequality. I can simplify it by actually adding the eight and the nine. So I have 17 plus x is greater than or equal to 25. Then when I try to solve it, I wanna keep the x, so I'm gonna subtract the 17. And that leaves me with x is greater than or equal to 8. As long as they sell 8 or more, greater than or equal to 8, they will meet their goal. To enter a competition, students must score a total of at least 450 points on five qualifying events. Each event is worth 100 points. On the first four events, the scores were 94, 88, 79, and 85. Write an inequality to represent the situation. All right, again, we know our total has to be at least. That means greater than or equal to. All right, we have already, in the first four events, scored a 94 plus an 88, plus a 79, plus an 85, and we have one more. So we want to know what this last one has to be to get us the score that we need. Okay, now we need to find three possible scores. So I'm going to start solving this by adding up all of those numbers that we've already scored. And when I add all those together, I get 346. So I really have x plus 346 is greater than or equal to 450. To get x by itself, I subtract 346. That means x, or our score on our fifth event, has to be greater than or equal to 104. Now they want three possible scores that we could score, but if I need 104 and each event is only worth 100, this is not possible. There is not, I can't score 104 or more. Okay, last but not least for today, a cyclist takes her bicycle on a chairlift to the top of a slope. The chairlift can safely carry 680 pounds. There's our total. The cyclist weighs 124 pounds. Okay, so there's already 124 pounds on this chairlift. And the bicycle weighs 32 pounds. What are the possible additional weights that the chairlift can safely carry? All right, so we know that it could weigh equal to 680 and be safe. Can it be greater than? Nope, but it can be less than. All right, so if I simplify this, 124 plus 32 is 156 plus x is less than or equal to 680. That's your inequality. Then we need to solve it. So we are going to subtract 156 from both sides. And that tells me that my extra weight that I could carry would be five less than or equal to 524 pounds. All right, your homework assignment